Spurs versus West Ham. But wait, sure it ain't Westfield Wanderers or Stratford City, because my knowledge of the area ain't the greatest. I turned up to the gate late, fam. Apologies, no vlog. I turned up to Upton Park, saw a block of council flats, and got confused. And then I realised that them man moved to a stadium that my people them down in Jamaica are winning more than them in. But we got the win, and we've now beat them more times in their own stadium. I ain't exactly celebrating, but after all the crud the West Ham fans were chanting, I just want to know what happened. Them man left all the atmosphere on Twitter, fam, and the irons got starched and pressed. You can call us whatever you like, but I've never seen my team have to get an Uber from the pitch to the changing rooms. Even when they thought they got the equaliser, guess what got thrown at the away fan? The fans sitting below me were on the receiving end of more flares than a 70s disco fan. Am I, am I a pre? Jeez! The West Ham fans want to sing about us not winning, but they got the gall to put their achievements around the stadiums on banners. And looking around, it stopped at 1980. I weren't born. Ranks weren't born. Troops weren't born. Robbie probably had dreadlocks in 1980. Fam, my seat, blood. I weren't sitting with Jesus today. I was floating in space. I turned to the left and saw Neptune. Turned to the right and saw Pluto. It was peak! Bro, it reminded me of playing 2012 Football Manager. If I didn't see what was going on. Yeah, West Ham's will say, oh, stop running our stadium when you bid for it. Fam, if we really wanted that stadium, we would have had it. Daniel Levy probably bid five bills or something like that. And yeah, our stadium isn't ready, but the man them could play in my back garden while I'm on the barbecue. I still have a better standing stadium than you, man. With all the injuries and the international break, we came back and got the win. It wasn't exactly champagne football. It's not exactly flowing, but we needed that. Maurice's white and blue are mate with a 1-0 over Westfield Ham. But let's get to the game. Maurice went with Hugo Lerae and Nephews, Ben Edgar David, Kieran Whippier, Yidris Elba, Toby Wan Kenobi, Eric Gif Gaff Diarrhea, Unlimited Minutes fam, Harry Winkerbell, Mini Yester Rude Boy, Musa Sassolid, Eric Lemessi, Lucas More Rapid, and Harry Clark said, You know the rest, blood. Crystal Eric Sensational, Musa 60 Minute Dem Gravy, Sonaldo were all on the bench, fam. Usually, this will be the part where I said, Why is the Soko starting? But Musa, I take my hat off to you. Not literally, because I ain't cold my hair, fam. But Josh Snow, well done. Solid performance from you, fam. But I couldn't give you a rating, because from where I was sitting, it was like watching foosball, bruv. It was peak. We were causing them all sorts of problems first half. Harry Clark said, You know the rest. Getting through on goal, fam. But he couldn't put it away. Fam, I think he needs a rest, I'm not even gonna lie. But we can't bring anyone else in. Bro, there's never a time I wanna see us play and not see him on the team sheet. But I don't want him to burn out. I don't want the champagne football to turn into cremation football. Just no. But you know who was lively? Eric Le Messi, looking like an Argentinian Charmeleon rude boy. Man on fire. Moose is a solid running down the wing. Cut in, that West Ham defender got grated like a block of cathedral cheese, fam. Just no. Left foot whippers for a Le Messi header and the scenes around the stadium. We held a bit of pressure, but Hugo wasn't getting beaten by any form of shots on this night. Get a 90 minute breathalyzer, fam. He was oozing. He kept us in it. And out of it, thought he could hold up Gidris Elba Sanchez by holding up his shirt and that. But that was just to stay relevant because he had a shocking game and he just doesn't want to be forgotten about. But we got the win and now it's off the PSV, fam. Or the coffee shop. But hopefully we get the win!